Hey, how's it going? I know we haven't uh, haven't seen each other in quite some time. Uh, yeah, see, yeah, exactly. I feel like you really need to just sit down sometimes and just you know talk, get things off your chest. And like I said, we haven't really haven't really done that recently. You know, I uh, gosh, I feel like we've both been working so much recently. Just I haven't had a time to meet up and. You know, catch up on things, so. But how have you been? How have you been holding up? Yeah, I, I understand that. I, uh, I feel like, I mean, even if it's nothing big, just even sometimes just talking to your friends about, like, just some little stuff that's going on, or just, you know, catching up, it's just, I feel like it's important, you know? Yeah. That's why I feel like it's just important that we just sit here, um, just kind of catch up and, you know, just see how each other's doing. I feel like that's just, it's the little things in life, you know? It's like the things you wouldn't normally, like, appreciate. Um, what I mean by that is just, sometimes, you know, with especially friendships, just, if you don't sit down and just communicate little things, you know? I feel like life can get a little, uh, I feel like I can get a little lonely. So sometimes it's nice just to hear what, you know, you got going on at work, what I got going on in life, and, like, just, you know, whatever. I, um, I guess recently the big thing for me, um, would be my you know, it, it's it's a tough situation to be in. I feel like I've I've already talked to you about this before, so I don't want to like beat a dead horse kind of thing. But um, I mean, ultimately, I don't know. I'm trying to start up a, my own business, as you know, and I feel like I feel like it's one of those things where. Like I said, I've already decided to do this. We've already, I'm, I'm already way too in deep. I bought the cameras. I bought the, you know, I have the lease for a whole year now. Um, I'm, just, I'm in too deep now to turn back. But I feel like it was, it was one of those things where I have an opportunity to do something that I'm very passionate about and I enjoy. And if I didn't, I, f I feel like I would really regret it. I'm at the point where I would, I'd rather do this for a year, if it succeeds and does phenomenal, then awesome, you know, I clearly I made the right choice, but if it doesn't, if it fails, if I have to close my doors down in six months or whatever, then I think at least I tried, and at least I, you know, I attempted to do something that I love. And I, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with that. I think the big thing for me, though, is... So I've kind of... I've kind of... I've done that. I've committed to doing that. Um, my problem is right now, I have no idea when we're going to open. I mean... With the, with the interview, I still have to have an ATF interview... And then once they approve me, I have to wait for my FFL to come in the mail. I have to get more licenses after the FFL. Um, then once all that's said and done, then I need to have like a small business loan or something so I can afford, you know, firearms. And then I can, then, you know, then I can open up. Um, we're, we're splitting the building right now with another gentleman who does, like, concealed carry classes, and he just did his open house today, and he had a very, very good turnout. So, I feel like, for us as well, I feel like we'll, we'll have a very good turnout. We'll have, it's a small town, um, I feel like we'll do very well. It's just, like I said, I've, I've committed to it. I wish I kind of knew when, I, I take life just sort of as it comes, like, you just, you just don't know what, uh, what tomorrow's gonna bring, so I don't try to stress out over that thing. Like I said, right now, there's still, at, in my opinion, at least a month. I've never been through this process before, so 
I don't know, it could be two months, it could be next week, I don't know. Um, but just some of that uncertainty kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, I'd love to say, hey, I'm going to open my doors on January 1st, but I don't know. And the problem with that is I still have... I mean, it, it's tough. It's really tough. Right now I have a job that I love and that I... Um, not necessarily tolerate, but I mean, work is work, let's be honest here. Um, and this, this one's not bad. I feel like for me personally, any kind of job where... You know, you have managers, like, constantly scrutinizing your every move. Um, like, watching you down like hawks. Um, I, I don't like that. And I do not like that whatsoever. And this job is very relaxed with that aspect. They, they trust you enough. They say, here's the work to do. And they let you do it. Um, and as long as you do the work, then you see the patients, you know, then they don't have any problems. Um... So my thing is, though, I I really enjoy this job. And like I said, it's been really the only job that I've been able to stay at. And, you know, like a lot of jobs, I'll, a lot of jobs I've had in the past. Now, granted, we were all you know, immature kids or whatever, but I would just, I'd get frustrated very early on with something and I would just leave it. And this is the only job over the last three years that... I've been with this job for three years. Um, it's the longest job I've had. It's the mo one I can tolerate the most. Um, and I, I enjoy it, you know. So, to be honest, at some point, I'm going to, like I said, I'm guessing January 1st will be my open date. But at the same time, I don't know. And, you know, it inevitably, it's coming up that... I'm, I'm going to have to leave it, um, which is, again, it's a very big step into the unknown, um, I mean, I think it would be different if I was much better, like, in a fi better financial situation where I could just, I could step out and I could say, hey, look, I don't need money right now, like, I could just, I didn't have to take money from the company. Um, right now, like I said, I can meet all my bills, I can, um, everything's paid, everything's good, and potentially starting this, you know, new business, if I was to jump into that, I don't know if I could meet my own personal bills, so, you know, there's a lot of, and again, I don't know the timetable, am I, like, how many more paychecks am I going to have with my current company that I'm working with. Um, I don't know. There's just a lot of uncertainty. I get paid every other Friday, which would be this Friday coming up. Um, is this Friday going to be my last paycheck with them? Um, am I going to be here another two months? Like, I just don't know. I'm trying to do everything for the longest time. Um, and I'd even show you I would... I'd buy, like, a gun every week, to be honest. Um, I would take my paycheck, pay, like, pay my bills, and then whatever I had left over was a new gun, a new gun part. Um, just something. I bought something fun with every paycheck. And, like, right now I'm trying to, like, really save and, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't done that in months. Um, the gun shop we normally go to... I haven't been there since August or September, I want to say. Um, and we were going literally every Friday. It was a staple for us to, on Friday, what we would do is, uh, if I was off, and my, my brother and my dad work half days, and it would be nice, we'd get, they'd, they'd get off around like one. Um, we would ride over to the gun shop, I mean, we would be there sometimes two to three hours, just talking about all different types of stuff. Um, I mean, he'd have some old cool guns to show us. 
Um, we, we like I said, we could buy something online, ship it to him. He, he'd have things to show us. Um, he's, always, he's very knowledgeable, so it's always it was always fun just to talk. And again, we're very passionate about firearms. He's very passionate about firearms. So, in a world where that's kind of hard to get nowadays, it was very refreshing that he, uh, you know, he would let us just come in and just chat his ear off. Um, he'd always have some cool new caliber I've never heard of. Um, and, like, like one of the more recent experiences earlier this year, we came in there, and again, he knows, like, I had him do the transfer for my Barrett, um, we've bought tens of thousands of dollars worth of guns from this man between the like the three of us and uh so he he trusts us he knows like sort of we're not just some joe schmo off the street you know um we we, we do appreciate our firearms so he whipped out it was an old civil war era um volcanic pistol in i think it was 41 um and just it's, it's something very unique and like any other gun shop wouldn't even let you touch something like that and here he is just totally like here check it out um he he appraised it around like ten thousand dollars so for him to just hand that to us and then for me just even like the historical significance of holding something that's like 150 years old it's just it was it's it's very very cool and it's a very unique thing to do um just be able to hold something like that is just incredible um so i mean like i said we haven't been to him and it was it was always something fun to do we'd go to him for like a couple hours and then we would go, there's a pizza shop, has some of the best pizza, like, it's a little mom and pop shop, but they have some amazing pizza. Um, we'd always try, like, a new flavor or whatever, and they'd always be very, very good flavors. Um, and, so, you know, you'd come home with, uh, it'd be six o'clock, you'd have pizza, maybe some wings, some guns, like, it would just be a very fun day. You'd, uh, we sometimes invite some friends or family over, um, and show them, like, hey, eat some pizza, check out the guns we bought, um, and it's just, it's a very fun time. We, but unfortunately, like I said, we haven't since, you know, we signed the lease, it was November, we were talking about it. And really, the only thing that really started all this is we've always wanted to do something like this, but with our buddy closing down, he was a manager at a local gun shop that closed. So he just, he said, hey, if you want to start a gun shop, I'll give you all the display cabinets. I'll give you everything. Um, really, we didn't have to buy, like, anything. He just gave it to us. So there was one day we went up to his shop to kind of help him uh, move some stuff and like kind of clean some stuff out, sort of like a little, hey, um, I'm giving you all this stuff, would you mind helping me organize it? Not everything went to us, like, there was another gun shop that wanted, like, the wall hanging, like, they had these massive wall hanging, I guess you just pretty much glue them to the wall to hang, like, merchandise and stuff. Um, so we helped them clean it out one day, we went up there and picked it up, picked up the stuff and like we were sitting there and we're like let's sign the lease for a building um my dad and brother already went toward a place and which was this place that we went with and uh i guess at first the gentleman we are going into business with um he wasn't too his business already existed so he didn't know if he really wanted a brick and mortar but after some convincing him, he went in on with it. So just one day, we just picked up, I think it was very, it's like the first week of October, I want to say, is when we signed the lease. So it's been about two months in this whole journey, and I think we're we're getting towards the end, but it's just, 
you know, it's just, I don't know what the future holds, and it's kind of scary. Like I said, I don't, I could get paid this Friday, and the gun shop could be open next week. Um, so I haven't been, like, like, we haven't been doing those gun shop, I haven't been to his gun shop in, like, like three, four months now. I haven't bought a firearm in like four months. I haven't bought ammo. Um, I haven't bought anything. I'm like no gaming stuff, no car stuff. My problem is like I was starting to get my, I was starting to get stuff in place to fix the, my car um, where the deer hit me. Um, I was starting to get that stuff in place. But like I said, I don't want to spend any money right now just because I don't know what that future holds. And I'm just trying to save, pay off my debts, and, like, as much as I can right now. So, I mean, it, obviously it sort of is what it is. It's the cost of doing business, so to speak, but I, um, you know, I just don't know. I don't know what the future holds, and it's pretty interesting, I guess, I'd love to say, you know, interview went well. We'll have a well, we'll have our FFL and by December first, and I have like I'd love to have a timetable, but I just don't, and that's what's so wild to me. I I like I said I enjoy my job, um, but a, a a change of scenery would be nice. A, you know, a new job would be nice. Um, but again, there's just that stability, and I, I have the same schedule every week. I'll get my 80 hours, I'll get the same paycheck, and to give that up is, uh, I don't know, I don't like it, but I do like it. Like, I mean, there's pros and cons to any decision you'd make, but this one's uh, definitely interesting. Like I said, I guess we'll kind of just, you know, see where we go and see how things go. I just, uh, gosh, I wish I knew more. Like I said, that's just, that's just a crazy thing is, like, this Friday, when I get paid, it could be my last paycheck. I could be, I mean, like, I don't know. I could put my two weeks in. I'll, I'll give them my two weeks. I'll be nice, and they've been great to me. I'll be great to them. Um, but I think... I don't know, like, I could give be giving them my two weeks tomorrow. It could be January 1st that I'm giving them my two weeks. I just don't know how long I'm going to be with this company anymore. Um, I know for some people, you know, like, I can, I've been there three, I'm coming up on four years. If I stay till March, it would be four years with the company. I know to some people that's not much, but um, to a guy who... I get any job I've had, like, well, I was a lifeguard for two years at the beach, um, that was a very, like, part-time gig, it was nothing serious, but, so I did that for two years, I worked at GameStop for, right after that, for, I want to say, like, a month or two, it was, it was supposed to be, they, they kind of conned me, it was supposed to be a seasonal, so, like, you do Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then you were supposed to get promoted to full-time. Um, however, I very soon realized that it was all a ploy just to get you to a seasonal, and you were never going to become a full-time employee. So I left. I just left them. Um, after them, I went and I became a food service associate at a hospital. I worked my way up to become a nursing assistant. And then I left the hospital for a rehab clinic. And then I left the rehab clinic for my current uh, walk-in job. And I have not had, like I said, I'm coming up on four years here. And all those other jobs, I really was only there for like, like the hospital, I was there for about a year. I don't know. I just, I've never been one to realize, like, especially even as like a, just a nursing assistant, even though I didn't like doing that, there is so many places, even in the tiny state of Delaware, that you can be a nursing assistant. 
So I was never going to subject myself to a job I didn't like that was, you know, just abusing you. So I've never stayed at a job I didn't like. I just, I never did. So to stay at this job for four years and find a job that I enjoy doing, I enjoy my coworkers, I enjoy the management, um, the owners, I like, I enjoy all of it. I don't know if I'll ever find something like that again. So, and like I said, maybe all of this is just totally unwarranted. Maybe, um, like I said, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do this gun store and I'll make far more money than I'm making right now and it'll never be a question. Um, I'll become the biggest gun store in all of Delaware and like I said, it'll be, it'll be no question, um, that I made the right call. But if I didn't make the right call, um, if I made all these risks for nothing, it, it would suck. I mean, I guess that's just life. Well, you know, you know, it's, it's nice just to kind of get this off to my chest to someone who, like a friend like you that I understands, you know, well, I, uh, I know you got places to be, so I'll let you go. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon.